Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I'm doing another how-to video and today is all about stamping in your Bible. How do you do that without things bleeding? How do you do that without things smearing around? Just kind of some tips and tricks along the way. This is in my interleaved Bible today, so I'm covering a page that was completely blank with some fun collage, some paint, some cutouts, and of course some stamps. So I hope you enjoy this. If you you've watched my last few videos, you know that I'm a little bit stuck on a collage kick here. I'm just having a lot of fun. I've actually been working on an in-depth project, kind of a large project that I can't wait to share with you guys. And it has to do with some collaging along the way. And so I've just really been enjoying that process. And so on the page today, one thing I'm doing is collaging, which is a lot of fun, but I'm actually doing it for a purpose. So anytime you stamp in your Bible, you want to be really careful because a lot of inks will bleed through the Bible page. Now, usually bleeding doesn't bother me too much, but when the stamp ink bleeds through, sometimes it can actually be quite difficult to cover. So what I'm doing here is I took a acrylic block that I'm going to be using later for stamping, and I just put a tiny amount of blue and then mostly white on the page, and I'm using this to create a background kind of blue sky for me to stamp on. And the combination of the paper on the Bible page and this acrylic paint on the Bible page is actually going to prevent bleed through. So you could also use gesso or matte gel medium to prepare your page, but I just felt like that's no fun. Let's use some collage, some acrylic paint along the way. So anywhere that there wasn't paper collaged onto the Bible page, I'm being really careful to make sure it, it got covered with acrylic paint. But then the paper itself is gonna do a great job of blocking that ink and preventing it from bleeding through the page. I had some fun doing some white textured clouds there on the page as well, by the way, and that's kind of one of my new favorite techniques to use with acrylic paint. Now that that is all dry, I'm working on cutting out some images. This was from a Mother's Day card that my parents got for me this last Mother's Day, and I'm just cutting it out. I sped up the cutting process a lot because it just takes quite a while to do, so I didn't want to bore you watching me cut out image after image. But basically, this card had some really fun flowers on it, and it's been sitting next to me for the last several months, kind of waiting for the right page. And I just felt like, you know what? I'm going to be stamping today, and my entire stamp collection, which you're going to get to see all of it, is mostly flowers and things like that. And so I just wanted to kind of incorporate that onto the page. So my inspiration for this page is actually this stamp that I have on the acrylic block and I am using my Stazon black ink and it's just been an amazing ink. I don't have a lot of different inks but this one I have just been really really pleased with and I just use a baby wipe to wipe off my stamps when I'm done. This ink does stain them, I've found, so my stamps are no longer clear after I use them on this ink pad, but that really does not bother me. So you can see I stamped that lettering onto the page, breathe on me, breath of God. And then I'm just selecting a whole bunch of flowers to add to the page as well. Now, because I like to stamp off and on the page, I am putting a piece of scratch paper behind my Bible page at this point to kind of catch any of the stamp that travels off of the page. And then I am putting into practice a technique called second generation stamping. And that's where instead of doing just one stamp each time you ink it up, I'm stamping two times. So you can see one of those dandelion stamps up in the top area of the page is a bit less vibrant and that's because I stamped it twice. So the second time it's much more faded in appearance. And I really like that because it makes the page, gives it a little bit of depth, I think. So same thing here, I just went in and stamped a second time right on the edge there. Now, this story that I am Bible journaling today actually does not have to do with flowers at all, but it does have to do with the sentiment of the breath of God. And this is the chapter in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37, 
where the Lord commands Ezekiel to bring dead bones back to life, to command them back to life, to prophesy life over them. And it's just such an amazing story. You have to go read it. It's one of my favorites. It's not very long. It's just the first part of Ezekiel 37. And it's just this amazing story of God bringing an army to life from dead bones. And isn't that what he does in our life? Isn't that what he does for each one of us who have decided to follow him? He brings us to life, out of death into life. So the whole thing here is just meditating and thinking on the life that God gives us. Now you saw me using a piece of scratch paper there as I was adding the stems in. I used that just to cover up any portion of the page that I didn't want to stamp on. And that's kind of the how to stamp part of this video. Unfortunately, it's not just about how to stamp. It's also about acrylic paint, a little collage, and also some cutting and pasting. But um, I wanted to kind of focus on those stamp techniques, just a few tips that I shared along the way. If you have more questions or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to respond to those and maybe even make another stamping video where I cover things in a little bit more depth if you would like that. And like I said, you saw my entire stamp collection pretty much today. I don't have a ton of stamps and I don't stamp that often, but I really do enjoy it when I dive into it. And it's something kind of fun and different for me, a little bit out of the ordinary from my usual style. So you've seen now that I have played around with the positioning of these flowers quite a bit and I finally decided to cut those two little ones apart from one another so I could put one up at the top and one down below and I'm just basically really trying to frame that lettering stamp and make that kind of the main focus of this page. So I love how this turned out. I think it's really fun that it incorporates a Mother's Day card from my parents. It just talks all about new life. It represents new life to me, this promise and ability that God has to breathe new life into us is just an amazing thing. Go read Ezekiel 37, you will not regret it. So I'm pointing out a couple areas here where the ink did bleed through just right on the edges where there wasn't any paper or acrylic paint to protect them. It does not bother me. I do not stress out about bleed through and there's many creative ways to cover that up if it's in my way when I come to the following side of this page to create art at some point down the road. Here is the last close-up for you of this Bible page. Don't forget to jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. If you enjoyed this, here's a couple more videos of mine you might also enjoy. Go visit my Etsy store. I have a lot of Bible journaling templates there to help get you started. Find me on Facebook. The link is in the description box below. We have a wonderful group over there just enjoying Bible journaling together. Have a wonderful day.